This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Pickle. Here are the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. Scottsdale police busted a woman overnight for a deadly DUI crash. Police say Amy Durgan was drunk at 6.30 in the morning when she hit Jason Barnhart as he was crossing the road. This happened near 68th Street and Thomas. She was caught as she tried taking her car to the car wash. She's facing DUI charges tonight. A 10-year-old and four teenagers suffered serious injuries in a crash at Central and Northern. Thankfully, none of those injuries appear to be life-threatening. Police say one car turned right into the path of another car. The area was closed for hours this morning as police investigated. Police are investigating an overnight chase that ended with an officer-involved shooting in Mesa. It happened near the U.S. 60 and Country Club. Police say a man drove off from a traffic stop. The police chopper followed him into Mesa, where officers used stop sticks. Police say he took off running, and when he tried to carjack another driver, an officer shot him. He is now in police custody. State lawmakers are one step closer to changing the rules when it comes to short-term housing rentals in Arizona. Senators passed a bill through committee today that would limit how many times owners can rent out homes or apartments if they don't actually live there. Arizona already has a law in the books that regulates short-term rentals. Paul? Well, thanks a lot, Chris. Yeah, look at that forecast. Temperatures hit a high today, 82 degrees. Pretty fantastic. Our first 80 degree temperature of the year. Notice we're starting to see some clouds roll in here and those clouds are gonna bring us some rain. Quiet day tomorrow, 78 degrees, and then chance of showers in the morning hours Saturday. About a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch of rainfall here in the valley. Yeah, it's going to be a wet one Saturday with cooler weather on Sunday. Highs only in the 60s. The sun returns starting on Monday. Thank you, Paul. And for updates on more stories we're following, you can download our app and subscribe to our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Chris Pickle. Have a great night.